Hi, this is Chris Gold with Geeks On Tour, and in this video I want to show you the basics of using that on-screen keyboard that comes with Samsung phones. I've come up with a list of eight things that I think everybody should know. Let's get started. First of all, since every Android phone can be slightly different, I want to show you exactly what I have. This is a Samsung Note 9, and if I go into Settings and About Phone, you see Galaxy Note 9 and the software information. I'm on One UI version 2.5, Android version 10. That if yours doesn't do exactly what mine does, this might be the reason why. Number one, how to make your keyboard appear and disappear. Here I am on my Samsung phone's home screen and there's no keyboard here. When I tap on something like search that needs some typing, then the keyboard appears. But what if there's something underneath the keyboard here that I want to see? Can I make it disappear? Yes, you do that by tapping the back button on your phone's navigation bar the keyboard disappears. Now how do you bring it back? Tap in a place where you're supposed to type. Number two, do you tap to type or glide to type? So what, what do I mean? If I'm in search here and I want to look for restaurant recommendations, I can just type out by tapping and tap the space bar E-C-O-M-E-N-D-A-T-I-O-N-S. Wow, I really messed up there, didn't I? Recommendations near me. Okay, and notice I was lazy and did not type the two M's in recommendation, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter. When I tap search, it will find restaurant. It will know what I meant. All right, but there is another way. I much prefer, I'm going to tap the X to get rid of everything I just typed, and I can just glide over the keys. So touch on the R, glide over the E-S-T-A-U-R-A-N-T, and when you let go, it will put in a space, R-E-C-O-M-E-N-D-A-T-I-O-N-S, and notice that it put in the two M's for me. And it will also put in a space. So that is the glide typing. Number three, keyboard settings. You see this little keyboard icon in the lower right hand corner? If you tap on that, it tells you you are using the Samsung keyboard. You might have other third party choices, but if you're using the Samsung keyboard, you can tap on the little gear to go into the settings. I encourage you to look through all the settings here, but it's the swipe one that I am concerned about. If when you went to rub your finger over the keyboard, it did not work the way mine did, it might be because your swipe controls are, turn, are not turned on. My settings are swipe to type. Number four, dictating. So I want to send an email. I'll go into email and compose, but I am tired of typing. I want to just talk. You, there is the microphone icon. You tap it. Hi Mary, I'm so looking forward to your visit. Have you made your plane reservations yet? Question mark. I hope you'll have time to go to Zoo Miami. It's such a fun place. Period. I have it planned for Thursday the 8th. New line. See you later, Chris. And notice that I tap the little keyboard symbol to stop the voice control and put it back to keyboard. Number five, making corrections. This actually did a pretty good job. I don't see any errors, but I do have some things I want to change. I want to make a correction right after Hi Mary. I need a new line. Now I could just tap there, but if if you're having a hard time getting right in the right spot, and notice you can get it magnified and get right in the right spot, but there's another way. If you hold down on your space bar, the whole keyboard becomes like a trackpad 
watch the cursor in a, above. It's just like a trackpad. I can get positioned exactly where I want and then press the Enter key. Number six, shortcut to punctuations and special characters. I need to add a little bit to this email, so I'm going to give myself a new line and ask, do you need a ride from the airport? Now, how do I get the question mark? Well, first of all, predictively, it's already appeared. All I have to do is tap after it. But if I needed to type it, you see that it is on top of the M. You long press on the M and the question mark appears. If those are too tiny, and so for example, there's the dollar amount is above the F, or the percent sign is above the G, if those are too tiny to see, however, all of them are available by long pressing on the period key. And then you have the percent sign, the dollar sign, the question mark, etc. Number seven, how to bold, italic, or underline text. The first step is to select the text that you want to affect. So I want to underline and bold Zoo Miami. I'll double tap on Zoo and that selects the whole word. Then drag over so that Zoo Miami is selected. Now in the menu that pops up, tap on Format. Now you have bold, italic, and underline. I can do all three. Number eight, emojis. I always like to put a smiley face at the end. So uh, that is this little icon right here with a smiley face. And you see a bunch of faces, but there's so much more. There's all sorts of icons. I am going to put a smiley face. But then I also want to see if there's something better for partying. You can tap the search and type party. And now I have more little icons. We might even have some wine. And when you're done, you just back out of that and you tap the keyboard to get back to the normal keyboard. And that is my list of eight things that I think everybody should know about their Samsung keyboard. Mm -hmm.